Want to know the best way to get all the gear you need to fly your first RC trainer without spending a fortune? The answers are coming up. Hi everyone, I'm JR, the Traveling Tech Guy. On this channel, we feature tech videos on the PC, the RC, as well as an occasional RV adventure. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hit the bell notification so you don't miss an episode like this one. Also, be sure to check out the description area where I will post links to the items that I'm talking about as well as things that I might have forgot. On this week's episode, we're going to talk about the Apprentice S15E by eFlight. And I'm going to give you tips on how to get the most bang for your buck. Let's jump right into it. The Apprentice comes in two different versions. One is bind and fly and the other one is ready to fly. Both versions have everything you need to get into the air in as little as a couple of hours, with one exception. Both come with an already assembled airplane, the receiver, all the servos, the motor, as well as the electronic speed control are already pre-installed. And with the ready to fly model, you get a Spectrum DXE four channel transmitter, a 3S LiPo battery and a LiPo balancing charger. The bind and fly version has everything that the ready to fly version has with the exception of a transmitter. It doesn't come with one. I'll give a more in-depth review of the apprentice in a future video. So stick around for that. The ready to fly version retails for about $299.99 and the bind and fly version retails for $269.99. You can find both of those on the horizon hobby website, which I'll link down below in the description. A quick disclaimer. Horizon Hobby is not sponsoring this video, nor are they sponsoring my channel or affiliated with me in any way. I just happen to think that The Apprentice is probably one of the best RC trainers out there on the market. I've dealt with Horizon Hobby before, and I'm only going to recommend places that have given me good service and great products. But hey, if Horizon is listening, I'm willing to work with you. Come on, talk to me. Okay, so which one is going to be the better buy for the beginner? Starting from scratch, the ready to fly model may be the best bang for your buck at $299.99. Includes everything in the box and all you have to do is assemble the plane, charge a battery, go fly. Now if you're like me and plan to add multiple planes to your hangar, then the bind and fly version at $269.99 may be a better bet for you. The Spectrum DXE 4 channel transmitter that comes with the ready to fly model is limited to just those four channels. If you add more models, there's no way to save the settings for each individual model on that particular radio. You would have to constantly keep adjusting the settings while you're flying. So instead of enjoying your session of flying, you're too busy trying to dial in your airplane. You can definitely save yourself a lot of money in the long run by choosing a bind and fly airplane and then buying a separate transmitter that's capable of storing multiple models. A good choice of a transmitter, especially the Fly the Apprentice, was going to be any DSMX compatible transmitter with a minimum of six channels. Now Spectrum brings out a DX8E, which is an eight channel computer controlled radio and stores up to 250 models. The DX8E is on Horizon's website for $229 and I'll put a link down in the description to it as well. There are other brands out there that use the same DSMX technology such as Orange RX, FlySky, FrySky, and a whole host of others. And the price points usually start out anywhere from $85 and go up, depending on how many channels you choose and what features come with the transmitter. For more information on what the best transmitters are for beginners in 2019, be sure to check out my video above, or it might be over here, I'm not sure. It'll be up above anyway. Even though you increase the initial upfront cost for going with a bind and fly plane and a separate transmitter, the payoff is in the long run. You don't have to factor in the cost that each time you buy a new airplane that you have to buy a new radio. Your one radio will cover all the planes you're gonna fly. If you're interested in getting into the RC hobby and you wanna know more, be sure to check out the other videos in my RC beginner series on how to get started flying RC airplanes cheap as well as choose between bind and fly, ready to fly, PMP, and ARF. See you next time.